Hello Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. Today we get to open our first advent calendar of the 2020 season. Yes, it is a little bit early, but I wanted to open it up for you so that you knew what was inside. If you don't want to know what is inside, go to another Potter Collector video because this is gonna be full of spoilers. Now this is the Funko Pop advent calendar for Harry Potter 2020. Now these aren't full size Funko Pops. They will be mini ones, they'll be about, you know, that big. But let's see what's inside. Take a look at the front of this box. We see a hairy feature there. He's holding an owl ornament. What's funny is the owl ornament he's holding is an ornament of an owl Funko Pop. And the back shows the staircase in Hogwarts. And this is a 24 piece advent calendar vinyl collection. So let's pop it open and see what characters we have for 2020. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna widen this lens so that you can see a little bit better. But here are the doors. As you can see, they go from one to 24. They're not random. I know on like the Lego advent calendar, it's random numbers, so you have to kind of search for them. And as I mentioned, we have the staircase decorated. So there's garland on the staircases and a cobblestone floor here to display your Funko Pops. All right, let's just start with door number one and see who it is. I'm guessing it's gonna be Harry Potter because he's usually the first to come out. Guess along with me. And oh, look at this. I think last year the Funko Pops were in clear bags, but now they're in colored bags, but I can see through and it is definitely Harry. And this is the Funko Pop we saw on the front holding that ornament that owl ornament. So as you can see, these are mini Funko Pops, but still very cool and well detailed. That little mini owl is painted gold, very fun. Good start to this advent calendar. Number two, who's it gonna be in a green plastic bag? Ron Weasley? It is Ron Weasley, and he's holding a Christmas cracker. Not like a cracker that you eat, but like, you know, one of those like firework things that has a prize inside. Mr. Weasley holding his Christmas cracker, and he's in a fun green hat, most likely knitted by his mother, Molly Weasley. Now, these advent calendars are available to order right now, and if you are interested in ordering one for your collection, or for a family member, or a friend, check the description down below. I've put a link to show you where you can pre-order these calendars. Inside, this is, looks like Hedwig. Number three is Hedwig. So cute. Oh, it's flocked. It's a flocked Funko Pop. So what flocked means is it's kind of fuzzy. It's coated in this fuzzy material. So that's cool. This is a flocked mini Funko Pop. But there she is, Miss Hedwig herself. She has some feathers on her back. Very fun to see a flocked mini Funko Pop. Now she's like a mini, mini Funko Pop. Here she is compared to Harry. Definitely a mini, mini, I would call her. All right, number four, we have... I actually have no idea. Let's guess like a Fred or a George. It is Hermione Granger, and she has a present in hand to be given to probably one of her friends, Harry or Ron, but here she is, and there is that present that she's holding. Is that really what her hair looks like from the back? All right, number five. Careful if you're opening these doors, they are a little sharp. Um, I'm gonna guess Dumbledore. It is Dumbledore. Oh, cool, okay. So they just released, Funko just released this new wave re fairly recently, and one of them was the Richard Harris version of Dumbledore holding baby Harry. Well, here is a baby version of that Funko Pop. So this is the Richard Harris version of Dumbledore. And as you can see, he's holding little baby Harry Potter when he dropped him off at four Privet Drive. Number six, let's say, I am gonna say like Ginny, Ginny Weasley. Oh. My gosh. <laughs> so there is a jumbo version of this and now we have a mini. It's Dobby the house elf. Wait until you see the comparison of the mini to the 10 inch. Here is the 10 inch Dobby and then this is the mini Dobby. It's like a doll of himself. That's hysterical. I love this. This is very fun. Dobby is free. All right. Um, it's so hard because I have no idea who is in this this advent calendar, the 2020 advent calendar. But let's say Draco Malfoy. Nope, it is Fred. It is Fred Weasley. And what's nice is he's wearing 
an F sweater, so a sweater with an F on it. If I remember correctly, the 2019 Funko Advent Calendar had Fred and George, but you couldn't tell who was who. Now you can, so as you can see, he has a sweater on with an F on it. Now I'd be surprised if George comes right after Fred. They're usually kind of mixed up a little bit, but we might find George. I'm gonna say it's George, just to say it's George. It's not George, it is Fang! Cool! So we're seeing characters in this that I am not expecting. So we may see Fox in here, but here is Fang. I hope we find a Hagrid for Fang. That is so fun to see, you know, magical creatures in this Funko Pop calendar as well. All right, let's say this is gonna be Draco. Snape, it's Professor Snape in Funko Pop form. He just knows that you will have a happy holiday. All right, number 10 is, ooh, it's, it's an animal. Is this Crookshanks maybe? Or Fox perhaps? It's Crookshanks. We have a little mini Crookshanks Funko Pop here to go with Hermione Granger. Wait, oh, we didn't pull, oh no, we did pull Hermione Granger. Here she is with her little cat Crookshanks. Very fun. If we get a Scabbers, it's gonna be like that big. All right, I'm gonna guess that this is George. Can't have Fred without George, it's McGonagall. I can see the giant hat, definitely McGonagall. But what's interesting is, oh no, this is the original McGonagall. I thought that this was a later version of McGonagall, but it's definitely the original. And here she is in her emerald green robes and feathered hat. I'll take a picture of all of them together at the end. Oh, here's another Harry Potter, another variation of Harry. And it's, okay, this is very fun. This is Harry Potter opening up his invisibility cloak. He hasn't tried it on yet, but he's about to discover it makes him invisible. So what's cool is these are all Funkos you can purchase full size. So that Harry Potter with invisibility cloak came out recently along with the Dumbledore holding Harry, but that's just really fun to see. Uh, let's say, I have no idea. Oh, okay, so we have both versions of Dumbledore. This is the Michael Gambon version of Dumbledore. So we have both the Richard Harris version and Michael Gambon version. All right, day 14 is, this has to be George, come on. Give us the other twin, Draco Malfoy. Here's a Funko of the famous Slytherin himself, Mr. Draco. I love the alternating red and green bags. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we have another Hermione Granger variation, and it is Hermione in her cat form. So Chamber of Secrets, when she takes the Polyjuice Potion and accidentally puts cat hair in her portion of the potion, drinks it, and turns halfway into a cat. Bad luck, Hermione. Should have been more careful. 16 is gonna be Ginny Weasley. Just watch, it's gonna be Ginny Weasley. <laughs> it is Ginny Weasley, that's awesome. So here is Harry's future wife, Ginny Weasley. All right, inside here is going to be another creature. I don't know who, but it's gonna be a creature, and it's not, but it's gonna be a fun mini Funko Pop. Now this is quite a rare Funko Pop in its full size and it was one of like the exclusives. And it is Luna Lovegood in her Spectro Specs. There's Miss Luna and she's holding her Quibbler, Quibbler in hand, and her side ponytail. Really nice detailed pop. Oh, she also has radish earrings on. Very fun. This is a great pop right here. All right, 18. Who's it gonna be? There we go. There's Mr. George Weasley. So now Fred doesn't have to be lonely. Oh but we have Mr. George and Mr. Fred, and they don't know what's gonna happen in the future. All right, coming down to the wire, 19 is Mr. Neville Longbottom, and he's holding the Monster Book of Monsters. Very, very fun. These are really fun little mini Funko Pops in this set. This, I think, is more fun than last year's Funko Pop advent calendar. I just like the variety better in this year. Um, we have, okay, remember how I said we'd probably get Fox? We got Fox. Now the question is, 
is Fox Flocked. Fox is Flocked. That's crazy that they did a Flocked version of Fox as well. And I think I actually have the Flocked version in full size, so let me pull that down. So you've seen the mini Funko Pops compared to the 10 inch Funko Pops when we did that Dobby comparison, but here is a comparison to the full size. This is the Flocked Fox, the Phoenix, and then the mini that came out of the advent calendar. This, I mean, I don't know what you guys are thinking, but I am thinking this is a winner of an advent calendar for this year. Again, very nice variety. They're more quality than they were in previous years. I'm very impressed. This is gonna be, oh, fun. So it's Ron in his sweater. So he has an R on his sweater. Very cool. All right, door number 22 is gonna be Hagrid, I think. It is the gamekeeper himself holding a Christmas tree. So he went into the Forbidden Forest, chopped down a Christmas tree, and he's dragging it into the Great Hall. But there is Hagrid, and then I'll show you what he looks like next to Fang. Very fun little set here. All right, we're at Christmas Eve Eve. I think we're gonna end with, who are we gonna end with? This is hard, this is a hard one. I don't know what this is gonna be. <laughs> Oh, okay. This isn't really a movie canon or even necessarily a book canon Funko Pop, but I love that they did this. They came out with a full version of this Richard Harris version of Dumbledore. But what it is, is it's Dumbledore deliver. So he's in his nightgown and nightcap and he's delivering the invisibility cloak to the Gryffindor common room um, to give to Harry. But here he is holding the invisibility cloak and check out the full size version of this. I thought this was a very clever Funko Pop that they released and it's fun that they released this mini version, especially for the advent calendar because it was a Christmas present for Harry. Okay, what are we gonna end with? I have no idea because we've received two Harrys already. Maybe another Hermione. I think maybe another Hermione because we have two Rons, two Harrys. So what's it gonna be? Oh, it's another Harry Potter. So we've received one Hermione. Oh no, we did receive two Hermione's because one of them was the cat version of Hermione. So this is Harry, okay, in his Mrs. Weasley sweater. That's a great way to end this. Harry in his sweater from Mrs. Weasley. How fun. Well, I am very impressed with this year's Funko Pop advent calendar. Again, the quality was great. The variation of the little pieces is fantastic. My top three, I think, are the Flocked Fox, the Luna Love Good, and Harry with his invisibility cloak. I think those are my favorites from this set. What about you guys? Which ones did you love? Which ones were you like, eh, about? There really isn't anything I was eh about. Out. I mean, if anything, it's it would be like Fang or Crookshanks, but these are so fun to have with Hermione and Hagrid. There really aren't any that I didn't like. Oh, Dobby, that was another favorite of mine. Little baby Dobby, love that. Now, although I love these, I really don't have anywhere to put them. So I'm going to give them to one of you. Check the description down below to see how you can win all 24 of these mini Funko Pops. I won't send the box along, but I will send the individual Funko Pops. If you're under the age of 18, please ask a parent or legal guardian before entering and as usual this is open to everyone in the world with shipping included so although this was early this was really fun to open up honestly it kind of got me in the holiday season already I'm very excited for this year's holiday season a lot is going on people are visiting it's gonna be fantastic I hope that your holiday season is just as great and again I want to remind you in the description down below is a link to show you where you can order one of these this would make a great gift to that Harry Potter fan in your life as well I would love receiving this if it were me. Although I don't think I would be able to wait 24 days to open this up. Hence why I am opening it in September. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?